What's up guys? If you have Instagram, you may have seen these shorts before without even realizing it. Maybe in the NBA bubble, on Post Malone, Justin Bieber, or LeBron James. These are Eric Emanuel shorts. Eric Emanuel is a designer out of New York who has recently been working his way to become one of the biggest names in streetwear right now. So today we're gonna to be talking about Eric Emanuel shorts, but before we do, I gotta ask you guys to hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate that. In school, he was making custom Python jerseys. Um, here's a clip from a Hypebeast interview where he talks a little bit about that. Um, so I got started and I was making these jerseys um, where I would just sort of, uh, so I'd recreate sports jerseys with Python accents. He saw ASAP Rocky wearing one of his custom Python jerseys. This is week one. So Ian Connor was with me at the dorms. He wore the jersey. Um, and then like five days later, I was looking at TMZ and Rocky walk across the screen wearing the jersey. Soon after, many celebrities would follow suit like Travis Scott, Robbie Rich, Future, and many more if you just look through his Instagram. Essentially, he got bored of making these Python jerseys and that trend kind of faded away as well. So he put most of his effort into other things, eventually stumbling across basketball shorts, finding his niche in basketball shorts. Since then, he pretty much releases new shorts with different patterns, different designs, um, different prints every Friday. Each week, the hype has built through unique prints and like big name collaborations like Babe and New Era. He sells them through his web store and they usually sell out within seconds. But here's how you can get them. Almost every week on his Instagram, he'll post a picture like this or like this with that light gray background. And usually what that means is those particular pair of shorts are gonna be the shorts releasing for that week. They release on Fridays at 9 a.m. unless stated otherwise on his website. On the day and on the time of the drop, you just gotta go on his websites, go to the shorts category, refresh until they go live, click the shorts that you want, and then it will make you answer a specific random question. That's the way he gets rid of like bots and stuff like that, a random question that you have to answer. So for these, for example, when I was about to add them to my cart, the question that I had to answer was, how do you spell camouflage? And then you get it added to your cart, they put you in this waiting room, and then eventually you could check out, put your information, and hopefully buy the shorts. It took me a few weeks to finally get a pair of shorts, and I'm I'm happy that it was these ones that I got because they're pretty fine. But yeah, it took me it took me a little while. If you're looking to get them for reselling, I would be a little bit cautious because if you're gonna sell them on StockX, they're only only going for like thirty to fifty dollars above retail price, which is a hundred dollars. So they're going for like. 130, 150, some of the crazy collaborations like the Bape ones. I think the Bape ones are going for like $600 or something. So some of the crazy ones are going for some higher prices, but the average ones just go for like 30 to $50 above retail price. My pair just came in today and I am honestly so hyped. All right, so this is the packaging. The packaging is so cool. Um, as you can see, it says on the bottom, made in New York. The shorts themselves, are really great quality. Um, they're pretty lightweight, but they still they still are a really nice quality. I went with a size large, and I'm usually between like a medium or large with shorts. I was worried that the large would be a little bit big around the waist, but it ended up being fine, and the length is perfect as well. So if you're between two sizes, I recommend getting the bigger of the two sizes, or otherwise you're gonna end up with some shorty shorts. The main appeal to them is the crazy patterns, and then the EE Eric Emanuel logo on the on the bottom. They have pockets, which is super convenient. Other than that, they're just a classic regular pair of basketball shorts and you just gotta pick the design that you like and then go after them. These camo ones are dope. I've also seen some sunset ones, some tie-dye ones, and some flame ones. So you really can go with whatever you want. But yeah, I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend the Eric Emanuel basketball shorts. And I'm so happy to have finally got a pair after weeks and weeks of trying. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this vid, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Drop a like, drop a comment, I would appreciate it. Until um, next time guys, have a good one.